Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Maxine Waters suffers screaming meltdown after PA representative Mike Kelly says three words. The unhinged representative Maxine Waters, DCA, suffered a screaming meltdown on the House floor after representative Mike Kelly, RPA, said three words that she just couldn't bear, and it was all caught on video for our viewing enjoyment. This is pure unadulterated fun. The crazy congresswoman from California is making headlines again with another unforgettable meltdown in front of other House members on Tuesday, May 8, 2018, according to Breitbart. Apparently, Kelly uttered the wrong three words in front of Auntie Maxine, and that was all she could bear in her little liberal mind. Waters' meltdown was bizarre, even for her, and seemed to be triggered when Kelly suggested that America should shift its focus from the things that divide us to the things which unite us. We are trying to make sure we are making America great every day in every way and the best way to do that is to stop talking about discrimination and start talking about the nation," Kelly said Tuesday, aiming his comments toward Waters. We're coming together as a people, in spite of what you say. Then, committee chairman Tom McClintock interjected to remind the lawmakers to direct their comments to him, rather than each other, before yielding to the gentle lady from California. Waters ignored his request and instantly launched a nasty screaming attack on Kelly pointing to her special victim status as a black woman. Mr. Kelly, please do not leave because I want you to know that I am more offended as an African-American woman than you will ever be. And, this business about making America great again, it is your president that's dividing this country," Waters exclaimed. And, don't talk to me about the fact that we don't understand, that's the attitude that's been given toward women time and time again," she added. Kelly made an attempt to chime back in with an explanation. But Waters was too far gone and refused to yield for a response from the congressman. Again, McClintock reminded Waters to direct her remarks to him, and she ignored the request a second time. Leave it to a liberal to expect others to give consideration and then give none in return. I respect the chair, but don't stop me in the middle when you didn't stop him in the middle, and so I shall continue, Waters said, turning back to attack Kelly. Don't you dare talk to me like that and think that somehow women don't understand what goes on on the floor of automobile dealers," she said. At this point, McClintock was fed up with Waters' outburst and again requested that she respect the rules, which sent the 79-year-old politician into a tirade about President Donald Trump. I don't appreciate that you did not interrupt him when he was making those outrageous remarks about him knowing more about discrimination than I know about discrimination," Waters screamed. I resent that, and I resent the remark about making America great again. She continued. He's down here making a speech for this dishonorable President of the United States of America. Having said that, I reserve the balance of my time. And no, I do not yield, not one second to you," she screamed at Kelly like a hysterical circus clown. Not one second, she shouted. Not one second to you," Waters repeated angrily. The purpose of the hearing was to review Obama-era anti-discrimination regulations for auto lenders which Republicans and some Democrats voted to reverse. The measure, which was previously approved by the Senate, is now awaiting President Trump's signature, according to The Hill. There was no need for Maxine Waters to explode like she did in such dramatic fashion, but in all seriousness, at the end of the day, that is what most liberals have to resort to when they encounter a logical zero opponent. As a congresswoman, Maxine Waters continues to be not just an embarrassment to the state of California but also to our country. How can other civilized nations look at this spectacle and not wonder why people like Waters are able to weasel their way into Congress? Here is another good example of why Congress needs to have term limits. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.